Brooks here. Welcome to another episode of Love and Waves. And I'm going to give you some love and waves today. <laughs> so I want to talk a bit more about this awakening process. And this is going to be a, maybe a little trigger. Uh, I'll give you a little trigger warning. I might rant a little bit because there's really a two different main approaches right now. And we're in a time of shift and change in this ascension window that we are in. And what you may have been noticing is I've been trying to teach you what's basically known as Harris Gamos, which is um, basically a merging and a blending and a reuniting of the two principles of the masculine and feminine that you are made of within. And uh, basically what has happened is that there has been much distortion that has happened that has created in this incarnation and in many thousands of years in the incarnation in this third dimensional physical reality with our five senses and our small bandwidth of color and of light that we live in that there's been a lot of messing around and and a lot of distortion that has created a separation consciousness it is the world we live in of duality of um, up down black white good bad judgment preferences, all of the different things that our mind does from the left and right hemisphere, from the masculine feminine principle to be in this world. And again, there's been some messing around in some of the dimensions to uh, control, right? So we've got all kinds of different programming. They even call it programming in the media and um, in, in just the way that the world is run. I'm not going to go into that. That's a whole other rant. What I want to say is that we're moving from a separation, duality, consciousness, that this egoic based identifying with all of these different preferences that have created suffering and resistance to the natural flow and the natural order of things that is now moving into a beautiful balancing and a reunification back into higher frequencies, higher levels of consciousness, higher levels of awareness that bring us to um, basically unity consciousness. We are multidimensional beings that have been pretty much cut off from our 3D world, from our higher multidimensional realms. And these are coming back online now more and more. And it's an inescapable truth that's happening. And again, I won't go into all of that. I've talked a bit about that before around what's happening with the whole solar system, what's happening with the sun, our logos and the planets and just all those things. I don't need to get cosmic here. My main point in this video that I want to get across is that in the past, and especially in you know a few thousand years ago, when Buddha and uh, Krishna and Jesus um, and many of these avatar teachers who reached the highest levels of consciousness in the human body and were able to maintain that consciousness in the human body, that frequency, by the way, measures 1,000. That's the highest frequency that this human body and this nervous system can handle and be in physical in physicality. So they were on that scale of consciousness that I love so much. I did a video on that, by the way, and you can have your measurements done. Um, they uh, basically, not all of them, but for instance, Buddha was teaching enlightenment. He taught something very different from Jesus. Jesus taught salvation. And so again, without going into any kind of religions, I'm actually not religious at all. I'm, I consider myself spiritual. I like to work in the unseen realms, in the metaphysical realms, but I'm also very scientific. And I like to, to put these together. I'm very middle-brained. I'm very left and right hemisphere, very masculine, feminine balanced. I am in that space. So Buddha would teach enlightenment to basically disassociate from the mind, which you absolutely can do in deep states of meditation and Zen. You can go to the mountain, you can contemplate your navel, you can have samadhi high, high, high states, and you can reach these bliss states and disassociate, basically leave the body and leave the mind. And these are beautiful states. They're don't, don't kid, I, I don't have absolutely transcend, transcendental states. They're incredible and they feel amazing. The more you live there, the more you dissociate, though, however, with the body and with life and with everyday living. What Jesus was teaching was embodiment to bring this into the body and to live as the enlightened, to be in the flesh, in society, looking for the Christ in others, doing good for others. Right. So it was a, a living embodiment of these higher levels. And, and again, while I'm not here to teach the teachings of Jesus, the real teachings of Jesus, not the, the messed up ones, <laughs> won't go there either. <laughs> um, basically, what, there's, there's two different schools of thought here. We can either detach and, and move out of the body and out of the mind and live as soul, if you will, or we can 
embody soul and be so present in the body that we actually dissolve the all of the distortions of the ego but live in the flesh and interact with others and we and we are in relationship with everything we're not leaving relation relating to everything we are deeply relating to everything and so there's a huge difference in this one is again enlightenment detachment and the other is embodiment which is re like almost a grounding it's a it's a clearing of all the space all the distortion to embody and become those higher be, become the soul okay become the that instrument of the soul now i listen a lot to a woman her name is maharishika she's amazing and this is you know even more affirmation of this teaching and this is what she teaches specifically but I've been teaching around listening to those nudges, taking those actions and alchemizing all the distortions for forever. I've, I've, this has just been my message. It's just been kind of ingrained in me. And especially in the last few years of awakening and especially uh, the acute awakening I've um, been going through, well, especially in the last year. So I just wanted to set that stage. And just so if you're noticing the flavor, a difference in the flavor of when I'm sharing with you how to be present deeply present to feel through the feelings that are coming to you that are from the catalyst and the triggers in your life, the relationships in your life, the diagnosis, the death in the family, the, all the different things that trigger a different difficulty and allowing those energies to pass through and being okay with the moment. And, and I'm teaching you to surrender into the moment, surrender into allowing those feelings to be processed so they don't get trapped. And any other feelings that get triggered along with that, feel through them, allow for them without the commentary, without stuffing them down, without projecting them out, without repressing all the things that we typically would do and we don't know how to process something, but instead deeply going into it. And then when you, after you have processed that, I always am mentioning, you have this opportunity now to learn from it, to actually ask for revelation from higher self, from higher dimensions of yourself. Again, you are multidimensional. You're asking for revelation. You're at, and and then if you go into meditation, it's not to leave the moment. It's not to leave the moment and pretend none of that happened and escape. It's about deeply going into the moment and bringing to contemplation. What was I supposed to learn there? What what did that flavor feel like before? Has there been some other time that I felt that? Is there a lesson in this for me to learn? As I am letting go of these old thought patterns, these old identifications, these old way of seeing things that are no longer serving me anymore, that I can feel I'm be, are, th these energies are getting hit up on, how do I now release these, change them into love? How can I see these with the heart? How can I bring the heart into this and love into this to overwrite the distortion? Because higher frequency always overwrites lower frequency. And how can I release that for good forever to make not only more peace within, more room for me to, to accept and let things pass through, but also for soul to reside literally within the cells. And I can hear soul more because there's less noise. There's less clamoring going on of the ego trying to get everything in arrangement and perfect so that I can be comfortable or you, whomever. So there's a big, big difference in being present and leaning into and surrendering into a moment, into a feeling, into what's happening around and rather than resisting it and just checking out and pretending it's not there. And as a teacher, as somebody who's trying to bring these things to you to help you synthesize, not for any dogma, not for you to believe everything I say, take what resonates, of course, and leave what doesn't. But if this is sent and if this is feeling like there's a resonance to you, I want you to know that I take very, very seriously that that what I am sharing is coming from a place to just help you to come to know, not for you to take on my knowledge, but to help synthesize things and have synapse go off that you put the pieces together for your own gnosis, for your own inner standing, coming to know and experience then for yourself so that it is yours what is actually going to work for you? Does it work for you to check out or does it work for you to check in, to release and check in and then bring more of that presence, deep presence, rather than this, you know, aloofness that can happen. And you see this happening a lot. So the old teachings 
were beautiful at the time. But imagine being in the time of Buddha, the dark, 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 darkness that was happening. I would love to be on the mountain contemplating my navel at that time. La, 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 like, let's pretend nothing's happening, right? And the, the world is pretty hard right now as well, but we are at a time where we are actually coming back online from a metaphysical standpoint into the physical body and we have access now. This is what Jesus was teaching. Guess what? The kingdom of heaven is within you. It's not out there. It's within you and to go within. You too shall do greater works than I. We are miracle workers. We are. We are part a part of God. We are that. We are co-creators. We are creators, but not unconsciously, right? So so that's a big part of what I wanted to say. And my responsibility, that's what I wanted to circle back to, is to not lead you astray, to not, that would be my karma. If I'm teaching you to go, you know, check out completely, and you do so, so often that you aren't functioning well in your life, you're having a hard time coming back into the body and going to work. You just can't wait to check out again. If that's going to affect the way that you raise your own children, or your presence with your with your partner, or or with your health and your body, and you just want to check out, that is not serving you or humanity at all. And that would be on me, right? From a karmic standpoint, I'm not here to lead you off the cliff or or to check out. You you came here to be here in this body, and and there's nothing wrong with that. Even if it's hard out here, we we were trying to re spiritualize this this animal body. I should say, I'm saying re-spiritualize, we're bringing it into this spiritualized space where soul can be here in the now and see that soul and, and interact and, and relate with that soul with everything around. So that's what I wanted to share today. There's going to be more to talk about, but I wanted you to understand that was the nuance, the difference in the way of what I'm sharing when I talk about awakening. It's again, not about just meditating all day long and checking out. Yeah, beautiful, but not reality, not reality and not functional if you want to function in this world. If you if you're done and you just and you're wanting to check out, I mean I understand, but you came here for a reason, right? So, something to chew on over the weekend. I hope that you enjoyed this. Love to get your comments and thoughts on it. And with the that lens, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. But with that lens, recognize that a big part of this and the majority of this is undoing, undoing what the ego has created and what society and all the programming has created that has distorted us out of our desire to even be here, right? Completely separated us into such an egoic state of separation consciousness and, and separation from other people that we, we actually do want to check out. And, and there's a number of people that are either being, again, forced to see that separation and that are coming back in and others that are choosing that seekers, people like myself, I've been on, I've been awakening for probably 20 years, but you know, again, acutely recently, but coming back together into this unity and this peace, this is everything we've ever desired. <laughs> and it's, and it's not that difficult of a journey. Once you get the groove of it and you understand what you're doing, you are coming into the body. You are undoing everything that is unlike the truth and how source God sees it your higher self, and you're clearing that out. This is the work that I help you with. If you're interested in this, I'm trying to give you everything I can here for free. And then of course I do this, this type of alchemy work with you um, also as well. So check the description box or my site. But as you're doing this work and you're clearing that space and you're allowing body the more connectedness, more presence, more ability to feel the impulses of your body so that you can choose to go with soul and not with ego continuously over and over every in every moment in your moment to moment. This is magic. It's the magic and how you feel and what shows up in your life. I cannot even tell you. When you turn that corner, it is just absolutely incredible. So I'm going to continue on this path. I'm going to continue to share as much as I can and more about this topic in particular. Again, love to get your thoughts, comments, likes, and subscribes. And I think that's it for the moment. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again in the next video.